Hey friends, Joe the Farmer here and I'm here with my buddy Clay and today we're going to go and we're going to do some fertilizing of our garden. So I know what you're thinking, fertilizer, great, you're going to the co-op, you're going to buy a bag of fertilizer, spread it out with a hand spreader or something and put chemicals in your garden. But today, that's not the case. We're actually going to go to our neighbor's house, they raise rabbits and we're going to get some rabbit, rab <laughs> we're going to get some rabbit manure for the garden and uh, we're going to use the tractor to do it and there is a lot of it. Uh, but this is a big garden and again, I've mentioned this in some of our other videos, but rabbit manure is a unique kind of thing because it's a cold manure. It doesn't have to be uh, composted in order to break down and then be usable. It's fine to use just when it's fresh, which I know this is probably not the most appetizing video to watch while you're eating or while you're preparing dinner, but in the meantime, maybe this could teach you something and maybe show you a little bit about how you can uh, take waste from one resource and put it into another. So anything to add, Clay? Nope. Nope. He still has a little bit of bedhead over here, but uh, so it is what it is. But we appreciate y'all watching these videos. If you like this kind of stuff, uh, give us a like, hit the subscribe button down below. We would appreciate it. So we're gonna head down to the tractor barn. We're gonna get the Coyote RX7320. It is a big tractor. It'll hold lots of weight and has an 80, uh, 84 inch bucket, I believe, or 82 inch bucket. It's a really big bucket. It'll hold a lot of stuff, but we're still probably gonna have to make three or four trips. But uh, love that tractor, really excited to use it. I do know there's some uh, subscribers that recently purchased some or are waiting for some, and uh, maybe get an opportunity here to see the Coyote working. So. Anyway, let's head to the tractor barn, fire it up, and then let's go scoop the poop. So before uh, we start the tractor, but I did want to tell anyone who's following the channel that uh, had the grapple fixed. It took me about four or five days to have uh, my dealer's guy from Coyote come out here. And apparently paint, when the it was painted at the factory, paint got into the elbow somehow, and they just had to replace that part, and no leak. So we're definitely going to break that thing out. We have trees down everywhere, as you can kind of see back here. You know. It, We'll get to that on another video. If you're new to these videos, uh, this is my Coyote RX7320. Love this tractor, awesome tractor, tons of uh, power, just a great riding machine, really, really happy with it. I always keep the hood up because if you keep the hood up, that kind of dissuades mice and all kinds of critters from living in your machine, eating your wiring, and you know, our, our mouse problem isn't nearly as bad as it used to be in here, but um, our snake problem has kind of increased a little bit, and that, that's probably why, so anyway. On camera, it looks different, but to give you the full scale of this, me compared to the tractor. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than clay. Somehow, some way, I forgot my work gloves. That is not usual. Well, y'all, I will tell you, with all the storms we've had here, you want to talk about a beautiful day. This is, it doesn't get better than this. This is amazing. So nice. These are the days that make you mess up and not buy a cab. Buy a cab if you buy a tractor, but these are the kinds of days that make you not buy one. Okay, so I know a lot of you out there like me, you wanted to have a buddy seat when you bought your Coyote tractor, and for some reason Coyote does not have a buddy seat option, which is dumb. What we did do is on Amazon, I bought these little tripod seats, which there's no seatbelt or anything, but we're on flat ground. I'm not concerned about that. And once we close this door and Clay's secure in here, he just pops on there, sits over here on the side, and there's plenty of room. So that's the nice thing about a bigger cab like the RX has versus one of the smaller ones. But anyway, um, I'll see if I can't find a link for this and put it down in the description below if, in case you wanted to do this. Because, you yeah, know, you can put a five-gallon bucket or something down there, too. That'd be perfectly fine. Just be careful if you're on hills or doing anything kind of crazy or you need a lot of space, then you know, don't have somebody riding with you. But if you're just kind of doing, doing a little bit of front end loader work and you want to bring your little buddy with you, then you want to have a place for him to sit so he's comfortable. It starts off kind of well, though. Yeah, you gotta let it warm up.
Okay, so we are done picking up about four loads of manure in this big old bucket. And I wanna kinda of give you a look at what this looks like. Now, it's not pretty, but it's also not what you would expect when you think about getting manure out of a, a, a neighbor's yard from their rabbits. But, uh, you know, great stuff. This is awesome fertilizer. Again, it's cold fertilizer. Um, you know, this is the kind of thing where if you really want your garden to take off, you have to make sure your soil's right. You have to make sure the micronutrients are right. You have to make sure that you have some worms in there to put castings out. Castings are kind of like when the worms shed their skin. And it really will just completely change uh, what could be a regular garden into being a great garden. So. You know, looking through here, if you can kind of take a look through uh, where I've already spread some, you know, I just kind of, you know, I lift the bucket up and I do the toggle method, which I'll show you here in a second, which is where you just kind of shake the uh, loader arm back and forth. And that kind of makes it jump a little bit down with the hydraulics. By doing that, it kind of, you know, th this is difficult because, you know, this kind of stuff will clump together. But if you're using rock or you're using soil or sand or something like that, by doing that, it'll really kind of, while you're backing up, uh, drop the material in a more spread out fashion, which I'm gonna till this anyway. This doesn't have to be perfect, but I didn't wanna have it all in one spot because uh, you really do wanna have some kind of consistency to where it's being laid out. But I basically just <laughs> buried all these turnips and all these tubers. But here's one where uh, I just, a whole lot of it fell out of the bucket at one time. Same thing there. This was a little bit more wet, whereas this was on top, so it was drier, so it was easier to spread. Uh, just much, you know, much looser and less uh, clumpy. This is a great way if you have, you know, rabbits or if you have the interest in really making your garden shine and, and just perform as well as it can, you know, fertilizer works great. You know, a lot of people want to give you a hard time for using fertilizer. Listen, the people who uh, produce your groceries at the grocery store, I mean, organic is really kind of a loose term. And if you're going to the grocery store buying organic produce, there's a really good chance that there's still some fertilizer in there. And I know that, you know, there are organic farms out there. I'm not taking anything from those that really do the work and really get the certifications and do the right stuff. But um, this is about as organic as you can get by using manure. We used lime in an earlier video to make sure that the pH of the soil is right. And, you know, I can't think of a more organic way to do it than this. A lot of it is going to have more to do with do you have a hospitable environment for your seed to grow? And if you do, your garden's probably gonna do really well. If you don't, then you're, you're probably gonna struggle. So this is our second year in this garden. Uh, we have a lot of videos out that we've done just kind of showing tilling this thing. And uh, this was old hay ground that we took back. And last year was the first year we had a garden in this particular spot. And it did great. We had a lot of really, really good success with uh, squash and zucchini and stuff like that. Uh, this is just another way though where by planting the uh, tubers and by planting the radishes and uh, turnips, which you can kind of see throughout the garden here. You know, these things, whoop, let me get you a better light there. These things are a fantastic uh, cover crop, you know, because what they're going to do is they're going to put more nutrients in the soil when I till this up when these die off. And again, the worms and kinds of things would like that. And that root structure, that's just going to decay and build up the soil here, which is exactly what we want. I'm going to hop back in the coyote. I'm going to spread this out and then, uh, you know, see what else we can get it to out here on the farm because it's probably going to have something to do with tree removal and you know, cleaning up storm damage. But I do appreciate y'all watching these videos. I uh, hope to catch you on the next one. I'm Joe the Farmer. We out.